Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So today then I wanna show you my Facebook ads retargeting strategy. So the whole strategy then is based on retargeting people who have already visited your store or your product page. And anybody who's used Facebook ads before then will know that retargeting people, that is where the cheapest conversions come from. And as you can see then, I've been able to achieve some pretty cheap conversions ranging anywhere between kind of three and six pounds. And this is what I'm gonna teach you today then. So I've got my tablet in front of me and we're just gonna go through, I'm gonna draw it out for you step-by-step step how this actual strategy works. But before we get into it then, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me on this video. All you've got to do then to enter the draw is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my video yesterday then, uh, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And that being said then guys, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. What is going on then guys? So bear with me if I struggle with this because I've never done a video in this style before. Um, but anyway, let's jump straight into it then. Let's give it our best shot. So the whole process then begins with ad set number one. So if ad set number one and the whole idea of this one particular ad set then is to bring in as much traffic as possible. So this is our traffic campaign. Now, you don't just have to start with one ad set either. You can have two, three, four, five ad sets, as many as possible, so you can test different audiences. But because I haven't got enough space then, I'm not gonna draw out five different ad sets. The whole idea pretty much is the process begins with driving as much traffic as possible. And this is gonna send people then straight to our product page. And this is going to be product number one. And then obviously, the end of the process, is people making a purchase. That is ideally what we want people to do, but the whole idea of this first ad set then is not to get people to purchase. If they do, then that's awesome, but if they don't, then that's not the problem because we're gonna be making the money on the back end. So anybody who doesn't make a purchase, then obviously they're gonna trigger the view content and they may even add to cart as well. So they're gonna trigger that conversion objective as well. And we're gonna retarget these people then. So these, are gonna be retargeted by ad set number two. And because now we're going after purchases, this is essentially where we wanna convert people. This is gonna be a purchase ad set. So everybody gets retargeted by ad set two. And these are all the people then. So you need to create a custom audience. Anybody who has triggered the view content or the add to cart and not the purchase conversion objective, these are the people that we're going to retarget with ad set number two. And then obviously this is gonna send people directly to the same product page. So this is still product number one. And then ultimately the process again is gonna end with them making a purchase. Now, if they see a second ad set and they still not purchase, that's absolutely fine. Or what's simply gonna happen is they're just gonna see, keep seeing this purchase ad set here. So they're basically just gonna keep getting retargeted and keep seeing this ad set too until they do make a purchase. Now, you might think that comes across as spammy, but it works. There's a rule within the e-commerce world. It's called the seven rule. It's called like the golden seven rule, something like that. You can Google it. And essentially what it is, is this company did some research and somebody has to see your brand or see your product on average seven times before they decide to actually buy from you. So if you've just been running one ad set and your frequency score is just at one or two and you're not having much luck, then what you need to do is pretty much just spend more money and show your ad to that same person even more times. So that's why when people first start out with Facebook ads, I always recommend people go for smaller audiences because then you have that better chance of converting those people because their study proves it, that people have to see your products and your brand at least seven times on average before they actually do make a purchase. So we have both of these ad sets then running simultaneously, and this is essentially kind of where the process stops, but then it also continues on at the same time as well. So obviously people enter here then in ad set one. This is the beginning of kind of like the sales machine, um, and it's fully automated as well. It takes a bit of setting up with the custom audiences and the different ad sets, but once it's set up, then you can pretty much just leave it. Your job is just to get as many people through this first ad set, or at least into your custom audiences that you've created at the beginning. So people are gonna be constantly getting retargeted then with this second ad set. And anybody who makes a purchase with ad set one and ad set two, so obviously they're gonna come out the process the other end, we're gonna retarget them as well. Because if somebody's bought one product off us, as long as we've provided a good service and they're happy with the product, then why would they not buy another product from us? This is where we wanna retarget them again. 
So they go into ad set number three. And again, the whole idea is to convert these people again and get them to make a purchase. So this is gonna be a purchase ad set as well. And then rather than show them product one, because they've already bought product one, this is gonna be product number two. And then again, the process finishes with making a purchase. Now, if they see that ad set number three and they don't make a purchase, that's fine. They're gonna just be getting retargeted again and again until they do. So it's not a very straight line, but you get the gist. They'll go back to the, to the ad set and keep getting retargeted. And if they do make a purchase, then essentially they move on to ad set number four, which is gonna be over there. And, and the process pretty much just continues and continues and continues until they've bought say four, five, six, seven or eight products off you. So as you can see, it's fully automated. Once somebody enters the process over here, in ad set one, then essentially they become part of your sales machine and they don't leave it until they've bought the second product, the third product or the fourth product. So a couple of extra details then for you just to kind of help you along the way to make sure you do it correctly. In ad set two then, this one here, let me change the color. Ad set two, so this is where you wanna keep an eye on your frequency score. I mentioned it before, it takes somebody on average um, seven times. So when your frequency score starts hitting above seven, so eight, nine, or 10, then this is where you wanna change up your ad set. So there's a couple of things you can do. You can change the ad copy, you can simply change the product, or you can add something to the ad to give the customer an incentive to actually finally buy the product. And you can tailor this ad, you wanna tailor it to the audience. So somebody has already been on your site and that is a huge, huge, huge thing. If somebody shows interest enough to leave Facebook, stop doing what they're doing and look at your products, then you wanna take advantage of them. And this is why this strategy works so well because once somebody's already been on your site, they're no longer cold traffic. They're moving along that scale of, of cold to hot traffic and therefore they're easier to convert and this is why the strategy works so well so as I was saying then you can tailor this second ad set to people who have already been on your site so rather than the generic kind of this is what the product is 50% um, off go here to buy it it can be something like we noticed you visited our store thank you very much but you didn't make a purchase here's 20% off use discount code 20% off at checkout to make your purchase because if they're already interested in the product plus discount code on top of that then you're just increasing your chances of actually converting them. So ad set number one then, in terms of budget of what you should use for this, then personally, it all does really come down for you, but this is where you want the majority of your budget going. So you could spend say $50 per day on this, just to get as many people as possible into this process. And then obviously depending on how many people are on the list, then you won't need massive budgets for these, for these second and third ad set, because obviously every ad set you get deeper into it, there's gonna be less people there. So ad set number two, probably $10 a day will be enough to retarget those people, maybe two, three times. Again, it's gonna depend how many people you do have on that list, but this is where you've gotta keep an eye on the frequency score as well. So when you do start hitting, say four, five, or six, or if you start hitting it really quickly, then you wanna reduce your budget just so you're just not spamming people two or three times a day. Any more than this then, and it gets a bit spammy, and I find people will start commenting on your post saying they don't wanna see it anymore, and it's annoying them, or they might start reporting the post to Facebook, which obviously you don't want. So all that being said, the guys, I think I've pretty much covered everything I wanted to. Um, hopefully the system makes sense to you. If it doesn't, any kind of confusions, uh, please do leave a comment down below. I always do get back to everybody. The main thing is, is you wanna drive as many people into that view content and add to cart custom audience so you can start retargeting them. And then once you do, you just need to keep an eye on your frequency score with ad set number two. And when that starts to get high, then you need to reduce your budget or you need to change up the ad copy or the actual product itself and obviously the further down the line you you get then you obviously the more you want to target your ad sets towards your customers as well so with this ad set three because they're already people who have made a purchase then you want to acknowledge that and say hey look thank you very much for for purchasing the products because you know exactly what product they've bought so you can say say this is like so this is a fidget spinner. You can say, thank you very much for purchasing our fidget spinner. Um, would you like this particular design? And here's 20% off for being a loyal customer or something along the lines, just some sort of incentive or maybe some sort of loyalty scheme or simply just saying thank you to your customers can go a long way. 
Um, when it comes to just being successful in general with anything, then treating your customers well and building that relationship with them is only a good thing. The higher your customer retention is, then the higher your profitability is gonna be and the more success you're gonna have in the long run. So all that being said then guys, I think that just about wraps the video up. If you're still watching, thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a like. And if you wanna be entered into the raffle, then of course, make sure you leave a comment down below as well. And that being said then guys, thanks for watching. And let's get into announcing the winner from yesterday's video. Here we are then guys on the previous video. So I'm just gonna take the comment URL, the URL, um, head over to our comment picker, get YouTube comments. 46 unique comments, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, definitely in the top five. So thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate the support. And the winner then of previous video is Quantrail. Another awesome video. Is Shopify the best option for e-commerce slash dropshipping? So I will get back to you. Um, but in the meantime, make sure you reach out. Instagram is the best way um, to contact me one-to-one. -one. So hit me up and we can get that call arranged. And that being said, guys, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you all tomorrow.